Hey guys, so this is my Walgreens haul of the day. I live in North Carolina, so there was um, two Walgreens that are kind of close to where I live. I live in uh, Hubert, and I usually go to the one, the Walgreens in Swansboro, but when I went there today, they didn't have the Mitchum deodorant. I mean, they only had the gel kind, and I don't really like that one. Um, so I went to the one in Cape Carteret, and that's when shit got real. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I had a bad cashier. She was an older lady, and she was a bitch. Sorry to put it that way, but she really was. Uh, she was really rude to me, and she kept on saying that I couldn't use my coupons when I did pretty much the same deal. I got a lot more, actually. Um, on my last video, um, my last time that I went, which was, I think, two days ago at the Swansboro store. So I did the same deal with the deodorant, with the gum, and the only thing that was um, added was the Glade Expressions. So at first she told me, because my first transaction was these five, uh, Mitchum deodorant, which are $1.99, with, and then with the 75 cent off coupon, and that would make them $1.24 each, but then you get a thousand points, which makes them 24 cents each. So I did five, sorry, my hand's really shaky. Uh, I did five of those and then five pencils, and this is where we ran into trouble. She forgot one of the pencils, so she only rang up four four pencils and the five deodorants, which meant I couldn't use my five register awards that I was trying to use. And then I was, I luckily I caught it before she, I guess luckily or unluckily, but I caught, I caught it before she, before I paid for it. But then she was like, once I subtotal it or once I total it, I can't add any more coupons. So I was just like, you're not going to offer. I was just thinking, I was like, she's not even going to offer to avoid it or anything like that. So I was just like, really? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, okay, well, I guess it'll be fine then. Which I guess not really, because I ended up paying like a whole dollar that, which sounds kind of cheap of me, but isn't that the point of couponing to get stuff as cheap as possible? But yeah, so I had to pay a whole nother dollar for that, which I was upset about. I was, uh, I was kind of upset about it, but then... On my next transaction, that's when I got really pissed off. And I didn't say anything to her about it because I don't want to ruin it for other couponers in my area. But she pissed me off so much. Okay, so once that got done, I ended up paying, let's see, 189 out of pocket. And then I got um, 5,000 points. Right? Okay, so my second one was these two, which are a dollar a piece right now, and I got my printable coupon for buy one get one off of Target.com, and I don't know if you guys know this, but it has a picture of the Sean White gum, and as soon as I gave it to her, because I gave her the buy one get one for the gum, and then I gave her, I think it was a dollar, yeah, a dollar Glade Expressions Register Award that I had from uh, two days ago, I think it was, from the other Walgreens in Swansboro. And as soon as she saw it, she looked at the picture and she was like, you can't use this coupon. And I was like, really, why? And she was like, because this isn't the gum on the picture. And I was thinking, are you kidding me? And so... I was I explained to her that as long as it's a stride gum because it didn't specify that it had to be that Sean White gum, um, I was like it should be okay because it's still stride gum. And she was like, Well, I don't think it's gonna take it. But she's like, I'll I'll try anyway. And so with my first transaction she kept on telling me that I couldn't use my coupons for the register rewards because I wasn't going to take it, but it did because I 
I've been doing this for a couple of weeks now, and I kind of got the hang of it with the register rewards. So I was just like, okay, you know, and it still kept on taking them, so I was like, fine. So she scanned it, and it was fine, and she scanned the register reward for the pencil, and it was fine. So I was like, okay. Um, it was kind of an error on her part and of, on my part, but she didn't prompt me to put in my phone number since I didn't have my card. And she should have because I did it on the first one too, so, but anyway. So she didn't prompt me to put in my number, and I was like, do I put in my number now? And she was like, oh, well, I can't do it once I, um... Once I subtotal it or total it or something, and I was like, can you just void it? I wasn't being mean about it, but I was just like, can you just void it? And she, this is the part that really pissed me off. She was like, <sighs> and so she picked up the phone, and she called her manager, and I was like thinking, is that really necessary to be huffing and puffing? How unprofessional is that? I, I wasn't being rude, and I wasn't trying to hassle her on purpose, you know. But for her to be huffing and puffing, that's the that's the crap that really pissed me off. So her manager came up, and she was really nice. She was really sweet. And she was like, well, what's going on? And I was like, oh, I forgot to put in my phone number, and I'm really trying to get those points. And she was like, oh, okay, well, I'll just void it. And so that was that. So... I did the two gum and the pencil and the one dollar off coupon, uh, the buy one get one free, and then the one dollar register award, which made my subtotal to 19 cents and then 15 cents tax, so it ended up being 34 cents. And I got a thousand points, so that was that. So I wasn't, <laughs> I had that one dollar off register reward that she told me that I couldn't use on my first transaction, which now that I think about it, I should have just been like void it all, you know? I should have been like, just can you just please void my first transaction, give me my coupons back, and we'll do this over again because she messed it up. So, um, so I was trying to use my $1 off coupon on a Blistex but I wasn't about to go back inside of that store with that cashier that didn't obviously like me, who wasn't very coupon friendly. So I just left uh, and I went to my regular store, which is the Swans Row store, which is on the way back to my house. So I got the Blistex, which is two, oh, which is two dollars right now, and then I used that one dollar register award, which made it down to one fourteen, and then <coughs> sorry, I think I'm getting sick or something. And then I got the $2 register reward back, so that was nice. And just for the record, the cashier here was very nice. She, I think she just started like a couple of days ago, and I was one of her first customers. So she's really nice. She's about my age. I'm, I'm 21, so she, I think she's a bit younger than I am. She might be like 18 or something. But she's really nice. And then, uh, so yeah, that was it. I ended up spending about three thirty-seven, I think it was, and then I got the two dollar uh, register award for the Blistex. I I ended up spending a dollar thirty-seven for everything here, which I guess is okay. Could have been less, but I guess that just comes with the whole uh, couponing territory. If you guys have had a bad experience here at the Walgreens in North Carolina or anywhere. Um, just a bad couponing experience in general, comment below and let me know about it. I just want to make sure that I'm not the only one who's having these problems with these cashiers that are rude as crap when I wasn't trying to be rude at all. But um, that was it for today. Sorry about the ranting, but I was kind of upset about it. Um, I guess that's it, and I'll see you guys later.